Hello, and welcome to Tutorials by NerdBlur. Today we are going to be covering how to enable your VMs to automatically start up upon the ASXi host reboot. In order to do that, what we do is we will log into the vSphere web client, and we will click on to vCenter. From here, we're going to click on hosts. Now, if you have a list of more hosts, you'll see it. Now, you just select the host that you want to configure the VMs on. You right click it, select settings. From here, you will see the option for the VM startup. You just make sure that's selected. And then you come over to edit. Now, here you want to make sure that the automatically start and stop the virtual machines with the system is enabled. You can choose the startup delay time, and you can also select it to automatically start once VMware tool starts. On the shutdown action, you have the ability to choose guest shutdown, power off, or suspend. I'm going to leave it at power off. And what I want to do is I want to take VDI04, and I'm going to move it up to any order, and I'm going to take VM3 up. Now what it means by in any order is these VMs in underneath any order will do just that. It will boot in any sequence. It's not set to boot. However, if I move VDI4 up underneath my VM vCenter server appliance, it will boot second. So my priority is to get my vCenter up and running so that way I can have access to my management console. And then VDI4 is a mission critical virtual machine. So I want to make sure that that fires up next. So from here, all you do is you simply click OK. And once the screen refreshes, you will now see that I have three machines enabled to auto start. And that is it. That is how you enable auto start on your VMs when your system reboots. I would like to thank you for watching this tutorial. And please visit www.nerdblurt.com for more.